Hey, what's going on guys? This is Calculer from Boiling Steam and I wanted to show off a few new features that came from this project art pull request that was created by one of the developers of the Yuzu emulator. And what this project art does is it gives us quite a few advantages when it comes to resolution scaling and adding additional filters and even some anti-aliasing options that we can add here. So in the graphics tab we notice there's a couple of more options here. The first thing is we can scale up or down the resolution as needed. So if you're using a 4k monitor for example you can scale up to get better quick picture quality which is going to be much better looking for higher resolutions but this has to be changed without the game running as you'll see because the options grayed out. We also have window adapting filters. Now what these filters are going to do is this can make the graphics look sharper and I will demonstrate that in a minute here. And then of course we also have FXAA anti-aliasing to fix jagged lines to make them look smoother. Here I'm running Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and I'm just going to go ahead and change the filters here so you'll see the difference in the graphics quality. So by default, every game is going to use bilinear. Bicubic is going to slightly decrease the quality, but this will be very useful for emulating games at lower resolutions. And if we go to the Gaussian filter, I don't know how you pronounce that, but I'm just going to call it Gaussian for now. You can let me know in the comments how I pronounce that. And you definitely see some blurriness here. That's because this is rendering at the native 1080p resolution. If we downscale the resolution, this wouldn't be so blurry. Now we have scale force. Now this is good for upsampling. In other words, we're going to have better graphics quality, sharper edges, and then what is probably going to be the best is AMD's FSR filter, which is, in my opinion, the filter that's going to give you the best graphics quality. But this comes at the expense of performance. So that's something you have to watch out for. And also, this can only work with Vulkan. This will not work with OpenGL. Nearest, this is good for pixelated slash retro slash classic games. For a game like this, it's not gonna it's not gonna do much of anything. And then we're back to buying the linear, which again is the default filter used by the Nintendo Switch. Now, if we enable FXAA, you won't notice anything too significant here. We turn that on, if anything, the graphics quality looks slightly worse. Whereas if we turn that off, the graphics quality is a bit better. So I'm guessing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate already has FXAA built in. And this would be an option for Switch games that don't already have it built in. The next thing I want to showcase is the scaling options. So right now, this game is being rendered at the native 1080p docked resolution. Now notice difference in quality when I switch to 4K. You'll notice that the performance took quite a hit, especially while recording. Without recording, the frame rate still remains at 60 frames per second, but during recording the frame rate, as you can see through Mango Hood, is less than half. If your GPU can handle it, by all means, upscale the resolution. The higher the resolution, the more VRAM your graphics card is going to need. So keep that in mind. Currently there are two games that are known to not work with the resolution scaler. That is Paper Mario the Origami King and Crash Bandicoot 4. However, there is a workaround for Paper Mario by downloading the mod provided in the Yuzu blog post. There isn't just resolution and filter options that are added with this PR. There were also a few bug fixes for Bayonetta 2, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Some blurriness was fixed with the former two games and certain models that were not rendering with Yu-Gi-Oh! have now been fixed. So that's gonna wrap up this video. We're gonna have more details on Boiling Steam so head over there if you want to find more information as well as how to compile this PR yourself. Thanks and have a great day.